Hello, YouTube. Just checking my temperature there. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm running a fever right now of like 100.0. So that's all in the day's life of a lupus patient. And I wanted to talk about today my new wheelchair. Okay, so let's get into how the quickie works. And I'm going to sit on my bed here to show you my wonderful chair okay so there we go um this is how it looks i had it painted yusha there is a little quickie gvp um sign there um it's extremely light for a chair i can lift the entire chair with one hand um it had the basic sling seat there um i didn't purchase this cushion from spin life although they do have a wonderful selection of cushions to meet everyone's needs um i got this one from amazon and basic 16 by 16 um uh, two inch cushion works just fine for me um i also had all right my knee is killing me here um lighted orange caster wheels on the gas you see them light up ah, like that um which is probably like the coolest thing about the chair um it can break down it's not it doesn't have a folding seat but um one quick press of the button you get the wheel off um they're 24 inch spoke wheels these are the polyurethane so they're not gonna run flat you get the plastic I'm sorry, the aluminum um, handrail. Those are buttes. Um, and then, like, if you're just getting in the car, you're just going to sit this part up in the seat if you need to break it down. Fortunately, I drive a, a Honda CRV, so I can set the chair up. Sorry, I can set the chair sitting straight up in the back with my little bungee cords. It's very easy to attach. You hear that click and with this wheel? That. Stick it inside. And it's stable. So you want to make sure that it's stable, not going anywhere. Um, you have your option of um, the wheel locks. I have my full back. You know, I probably should have had them going for it, but it's totally up to you. Um, I love this chair. It's perfect for my lifestyle. Perfect for me. I take very good care of the chair and um, I just love it. I want to spend out, send out a special thank you to Spend Life, especially Greg, who helped me with cust you know customizing the chair, making sure that it was a perfect fit for me. Um, because if you don't know how or what you're looking for in a chair beforehand like I strongly suggest that you do some research uh, on it or else you're gonna pay a lot of money for a chair that doesn't work for you and who wants to do that and plus since these chairs well certain chairs on their site come directly from the manufacturer so if something's wrong with the chair you can't take it up with spend life you have to take it up with the manufacturer and, and the return policy uh-uh you're you're stuck so it's imperative that you know you go in and you or you talk with someone who is a specialist and spend life has the best customer service hands down every single day i talked or got an email from Greg or somebody else from the company letting me know, Sonia, your wheelchair is being painted today or where uh, it's been manufactured. We're going to ship it out. I got the chair a day early, which was great because it gave me a chance to um, get used to the chair. Again, like, I'm learning how to pop wheelies. I can only do it for a few seconds, but people say, oh, you're just showing off if you want to pop a wheelie. Well, let me tell you something. When you go to the park and you're able-bodied and you can walk, 
you don't really think about stepping over cracks or large um, indentations in the sidewalk or uh, you just walk. You just go where you need to go. Um, people that walk with canes or people that walk with walkers, you know, they face some challenges, but try uh, jumping a curb in a chair and you might find on yourself on your back like a damn cockroach with just minutes to live or something. So it's imperative that you can pop a wheelie, people. Again, I'm still learning, so I can't do it like a lot of the other guys on um, YouTube. I've watched many, many how-to videos and... Like, I can do one in this chair as well. Um, any wheelchair should be able to pop a wheelie, but you have to be careful of, like, the anti-tip-tos because um, they're not going to let you go back so far. Especially if you want to do stunts and you really do want to show off for your friends. So, um, but it is, it's just things that you never really think about. It just challenges. Like, when I go outside, um, especially by myself, I'm scared to death. And I'm really paranoid. Like, I have a lot of nice purses and before I got in the chair um it just makes it difficult to carry a purse especially like a really really cute bag well, I got some really big nice coach satchels that don't really work with this chair so um I have to like wear like a little uh I can't speak of the damn name um a little fanny pack purse or like a purse that I just strap over to the side um, it works, I guess. And if not, I just make my husband carry my purse. That's what they're for. But anyway, um, with the Miss Wheelchair pageant, had a lot of fun. Got a chance to drive down to Indianapolis. Never been to our state's capital. Beautiful city. Um, really enjoyed it. Enjoy me, Nancy. Nancy, it was a pleasure working with you. Uh, Brandy, she actually won the pageant, so... If you go to Miss MS Wheelchair Indiana, if you have a Facebook, check her out. You can catch out her, uh, check out her pictures. She also has lupus, and I was shocked because I just like most of the time like wheelchair use around lupus patients. Um, I wouldn't say that it's rare. It's just a lot of the people I know with lupus can get around with a cane. Or they get around with a walker or sometimes they don't really need help with assistance at all. Especially how their flares or if they're in a flare. But with me, I have lots and lots of bad arthritis and I fall a lot. So it's much safer for me to be in a chair versus trying to walk. Even with this cane. Um, I was walking with a cane not too long ago and I busted my car key up. Because I fell. Like I was just going into staples and... For a little fact, boom, I hit the floor and like I could feel the heat of this older lady's cow like right on my neck because she saw me at the last minute. But thank God she saw me or else I probably have some serious problems right now. Huh? But um, I don't trust myself with just the cane or the walker. So it's like I have to get a chair like just for my own safety. And I don't need any more health problems. So um, the chair is what worked for me and again like if you don't have a wheelchair if you don't have the means or the funds to get one hey that's when you start opening up your mouth and be humble hi Kyra that's my niece um she has she's off of spring break from she's in Chicago goes to Chicago public schools <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna make her lunch in a minute but um yeah um I forgot what I was saying but Go get on Facebook and set up like a PayPal account and ask people like, hey, donate five dollars, a dollar, whatever you can. I need a wheelchair. And you'd be surprised at the generosity. There are also plenty of websites um, where people donate chairs all the time, chairs that they don't use. Like I'll probably keep this one because this chair that I have now has no no push handles. Um so there are times where lupus, a beast, is attacking and I'm not able to use my hands. Like, can't even feed myself on some days. So, I'll probably hold on to this one, but I do have a chair in the living room. Like, I'll be willing to donate it to somebody who needs it. I know what it's like. Um, at the time, I had insurance to cover this basic thing and 
for a while I liked it, but I just realized that with my condition and how it has deteriorated to the point where I needed a much lighter chair and I love it. Um, it's just an awesome chair. So again, thanks to Spin Light, thanks to People on Wheels, um, and Nancy who did a fabulous job at the pageant. Brandy, I love you girl. You really rocked it at the pageant. It was an honor to sit down and meet and talk with you and talk with your mom and learn about what you were going through as well. Um, Again, if you guys have any questions, you can hit me up at Sonia, the screenwriter at gmail.com. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye.